Hey guys, my name is Dave, and I've got Pink Fox here with me for this video. Not for the later one, but at least for this one. Uh, but welcome to another video. So... <laughs> You're pulling on my hair again. <sighs> Sorry. I know. Anyway, so today I was kind of roaming... I had an idea earlier on, and I completely forgot what I was going to talk about. Then I roam through the interwebs, and of course I find out through that. I haven't said that term in a while. Interweb? Been a while since I've said that. Anyway, I digress. So, she wanted to join me today, so she's going to be with me for this video at least. The topic I'm referring to is actually presented under the idea that psycho someone once said, many people have said this actually, that certain individuals don't seem to know what they're talking about when it comes to psychology after the person talks about, you know, psychology. But there's one thing people keep forgetting about that particular topic. The topic of psychology itself is just statistics. The reality of it is that everyone's brain, and that literally every psychologist I've spoken to, every psychology teacher, sociology teacher I've ever spoken to has said this at the beginning of whatever's going on. Everybody's brain is different. This one here has had a lot of experiences with psychologists herself, so... Yes. She can confirm this just by the fact that each psychologist even thinks differently. There was one psychologist who actually had a lot of faith in me growing up. I didn't have a lot of my family surrounding me, so... She had a lot of rough times growing up, but... And that one psychologist, he believed in me when no one else did, and they put the other psycho all the other psychologists that put me on drugs. That one didn't. He took me off of all of them and said, if she does need them, then we will put her back on. If she doesn't, then that's fine. Yeah. But he basically made me feel like I could do better things with my life through positive reinforcement. That is one thing that instead of putting people on drugs, that should happen. And with that, even even with stuff like that, something I've noticed, that this is the case with everyone, there are always those few individuals who have similar mindsets and agree with certain big topics, but not a single person, kind of like a snowflake, not a one person is the same as the last, mentally. Like, there are a lot of people who, di who disagree with this statement, but if you look at the world, you just, just look at the two of us. Yeah, we think a lot of like, but there are some things I, that either of us can pinpoint that are significantly different than the other. It doesn't exactly particularly make it a bad thing, but it just means there's always going to be room for like that kind of thing that we won't think the same on. And That's okay. Yeah. It's not like we have to argue about that or... Yeah, and this kind of thing, like, now that she actually brings up arguments, this kind of thing is the reason that that stereotype, for example, of, like, every couple has large arguments exists. It's because of stuff like that. But the reality of it is that this is not the case with just couples. This stereotype exists almost for anybody. It like, takes a lot of communication, a lot of hard work to actually not argue. It takes, like, that kind of thing. And, and it's caring. not just... As I said, it's not just in, like, bound relationships like what Amber and I have either. This is the case for anything. Friendships, even normal family that you're born into. Loyalty, like, respect, communication, yeah. honesty. A, a, good, a good example of, like, the opposing to this, to support at least what the stereotype thinks, I was never per- I was never perfect with my family. My parents and I got into arguments all the time. Most of the time, it, no, all the time, it was always because I did something stupid. Hmm, on sounds like me. Okay, well, there's one thing we're similar on, apparently. <laughs> but hey, I, I do guess a lot of stupid stuff. Not in this sense. This is that's not what I mean. We would get in arguments over things, stupid decisions that I made that would be against, you know, family morals. I talked about family morals a few days ago, actually, and those morals would not exist if it wasn't for those arguments. Arguments can be good, but they're not always necessary, and 
they're not always what people believe. Back, and this digress, this kind of strays off the original topic, but it does support it. Psychology supports the idea of statistics on thousands of studies of other individuals' brains. That doesn't particularly mean that the statistics are always right. Okay, psychology. I remember this definition Go ahead. I heard from my psychology class in high school. Psychology is actually the study of the brain. Sociology is the study of human behavior. That is true. That is very true. So psychology, that's why I'm saying psychology and not sociology. Um, the brain itself, that's why I say it's statistics and not the actual action. What a lot of people misinterpret psychology for is sociology, but they're not the same thing. Human behavior does have a, is a lot different than the human brain. Yes, the parts of the brain do affect the human behavior, but at the same time, those behaviors... That's where sociology and psychology link. That's the only part. Everything else is basically psychology. Now, a lot of people take this kind of idea based off their own experiences and go, well, I've never seen this kind of thing happen. What I usually explain to people when I've done these videos is based off of a lot of statistics mixed with my own actual social, social experiences. But a lot of things that come out of my mouth do actually match up to a lot of the statistics. But that's just me hey, and my life. Hey, you're not just flapping? Believe it or not, in this case, no. <laughs> Good. I don't like it when you babble. Yes, you do. You okay, laugh at yeah, all. Yeah, I do. <laughs> she laughs at a lot of the babbling. I love anyway, it. Anyway, I guess just where I'm getting into this is just... I've noticed a lot of people, online specifically, actually have a tendency to hate on these psychological facts and go, no, I've experienced different, that's not true. This has happened IRL for us too, but the, just with one specific individual. I've seen it a lot more online than IRL. And honestly, it's kind of saddening that people won't consider the fact that I'm talking about statistics, not experience. I'm talking about experience. Well, this topic talks about both, mm. though. We've kind of brought up both, just to kind of compare the two. But regardless, as I said, it is sad that statistics are misinterpreted, misinterpreted towards people thinking that it is experience. They're not the same thing. Statistics and are not always right. For that one psychologist that had a lot of faith in me, just take me off my all that medicine that was basically not even necessary. And I had one psychology class, I will admit that. Who knows? That psychology class taught me about a specific type of person. A good fact in sociology that was presented towards me, though, is that everybody, as I said at the beginning of this, everybody thinks differently. There are going to be people out there who, like, let's take this as an example. Again, to turn back to the relationship thing, she and I have the kind of relationship where we'll talk things out. Maybe uh, tension will get pretty high, but we've never gotten angry. But no. there are people out there who look at it and go, mm, that's not a normal relationship because their experience, from their own experiences... Like my parents, for example. Yeah. And honestly, yeah. I don't care if they say this. They argue every single day. And this I thought, used to think it was my fault when I moved here because I hadn't heard them argue at all. That's... Then, right after I moved out, argument after argument after argument after argument still. Which is kind of ironic, but that's a perfect example of what I mean. Like, that's the psychology statistic of two completely different people. My mom does have a lot of psychological disorders. Which she can't help, but that's why. But certain people with certain types of disabilities will have psychological differences from those who don't. And that can't be helped. As much as people end up arguing about this kind of thing. We have argued with specific individuals who we're not going to name, and I've heard other individuals from my high school, I used to actually hear other individuals fight with, like, outside groups about these kind of things. But just because you have those disorders doesn't mean you make every day a battle. It it's can not, be difficult based off the disorder, but yes, she is not, right. It should not always be an uphill battle with people. 
it just worsens the situation. That actually is a social, 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 social fact. Should we just say that? Yes. Sociology type fact. That's what I was trying to say, but I don't know what the actual proper way to say that would be. But so sociology actually d uh, does show that a lot of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the time when two people who have different kind of concepts of psychology clash, arguments happen because they don't really go off the manner of, okay, I get that you think differently, let's just move on. Because it's an immediate response kind of thing. When it comes to us, yes, we'll have small talks. And tension and, does rise. But. but in the end, we always take each other what each other says into account. Which is what... A relationship should be. That's what a relationship should be. A friendship, a family type relationship. Exactly. Any kind of thing should be. But psychology, the fact that people... The problem of the matter... And as I said earlier on, a couple times by now, people take the statistics way too seriously. Statistics are just numbers. You don't have to be those numbers. And people take them as, like, people will explain the statistics and it'll be taken completely off the rails the wrong way. But, and it is sad to see. That's something that I was originally going to talk about and I'm kind of glad she talked about it with me because it did give some pretty good examples on it. Sociology is something that I have less experience on, I will admit, but I do have enough personal skill, per, well not skill. I study both. Personal life experience. I have enough personal life experience to say that everyone is different. I've said this a few times in this video already, but nobody wants to think that way. In fact, the internet has shown, just within the past decade, that everybody wants everyone to think like they do. It's literally the case. Like, there are, for example, I follow, I've been following YouTube for actually about a little bit over a decade. Within that time range, unfortunately, there have been so many people on there who have gone, you need to think like me, to the point where... Great channels that were on there have died. On my channel, I'm basically just sharing life stories and basically just telling you it's up to you. You don't you decide who you're gonna be. It's nobody else's decision but yours. It's a pinned video and something that I think was pretty much spot on when she talked about it. I'll at least have I'll have a link to both the her channel and that particular video in the description below because it does pertain to this video yeah. a lot. It, she does share a lot of her own personal experience in it, but you can't really give advice without experience. That's what really mixes people up with psychology and sociology is that experience. It is, as I've said already, sad to see, but it's just how people are, how people think. It's human. People are human. It's how humans think. <laughs> We're all idiots. <laughs> Okay, that's not true, but I'm just trying to make light. Hey, we all are we all are idiots, so are I'm we? just trying to make light on I know, a very that's what serious I said. matter. That's what I was trying to do. That's why I said we are all Grr. idiots. Grr. I, you you tried to steal a joke I already said. Anyway, these are kind of just our thoughts on the whole confusion on psychology. Let's put it that way. But we're gonna leave this video here. It's we should probably get to bed soon. It's getting pretty late. We have quite a few things to take care of, um, I guess, later. Technically today for us, but for you guys, some point in the future or past. <laughs> I don't know. You guys choose. But we're going to head off. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, if you like seeing Pink Fox here, don't worry. She's going to be in a lot of future videos. Not every And I have my own channel, like we said. Yep, which, again, link in the description below for that. Or I'll have it somewhere on the screen at the end of this video for the last 20 seconds of the video. Speaking of, if you want to check out any other live stuff that has been done on this channel, discussion-wise, uh, click the link that's either next to my head or hers. Um, click the link that's kind of under both of our chins if you want to check out my channel or her channel. I don't know where I'm going to put either or, but they'll be out <laughs> here somewhere. Um, of course they will be. Or in the, links in the description below. We're getting off one.
once again, guys, thanks for watching this video, guys. And I hope to see, we hope to see all of you guys in another one. Bye. Bye for now. No. Off.